And finally, after college, I wrote my first novel. And as, as um, you heard, it had a totally terrific reception. I sent it out to 32 different publishers. And really quickly, I got 32 rejections. Now, rejections, rejections hurt. They don't feel good. There's no such thing as a warm and fuzzy rejection. But you know, there was one letter out of all those 32 that really touched my heart because it was just so deeply personal. It wasn't, it wasn't cruel like all the other ones that said, have you thought about becoming a plumber? Or uh, please, please lose our address if you want to submit another book. Deeply personal, it said, Dear sir slash madam. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? And then they took the time to circle the word sir. <laughs> now, by the way, I was on rejection about 27 or 28 at that point, so that really was meaningful to me. It shows you where my head was at, the point, at that point. Well, I have to tell you, the letter gets worse. It, after dear sir slash madam, it said, your work of fiction slash nonfiction, <laughs> circle fiction, does not meet our publishing standards for our spring slash fall publication list. And in that case, they circled both spring and fall. <laughs> Just to make sure I didn't miss the point. Anyway, so here I was, and I needed to try plan B. So. I went into business, but as busy as I was, I was still getting up before dawn to write because it was my only time of real peace and creativity during the day. Then I'd get on my suit and go <clears throat> be the president of a public company. But you know, <clears throat> it went on for about, about a decade and then I realized life is just too short not to try something you really love. And was I going to let those 32 rejections defeat me, or was I going to at least get up and try again? So I had the fun of walking in one day, giving a great report at our annual meeting to our, our investors and partners, and then pausing at the end and saying, oh, by the way, one more thing, I quit. Bye. I, I, and. Uh, you can imagine the reception that I got, all kinds of warm fuzzies, and uh, seriously, they thought I was completely crazy. But I really knew it was something I had to try, whatever happened. Now, that was, I can tell you, 26 years ago and 31 books ago. Now, people often ask me, was it scary to change careers? And the answer is, sure. All change is scary. It always is. But think about it this way. The thought of trying and failing, which was very likely, wasn't nearly as frightening as the idea of growing old and coming to the end of my life and knowing that I had this thing I loved, writing, but I never really tried to make it come true.